climate change is a serious thing, and I'm doing my part. I'm gonna go to Dutch Brothers today. I have to go for another one of those. Good morning. It's time to go back to work, but let's see if we can get something to drink ready to say. I'm gonna go to Dutch Brothers today because I'm sleepy. I don't know if you can tell by my voice. But yeah, so this is basically my daily routine. Wake up, depends on how I'm feeling. I'll try to work out, try to exercise for about 15 to 20 minutes. Hit the shower, depending on whether or not I'm uh, doing intermittent fasting, I'll eat or I'll just head to work, drink a lot of water. Fridays, I usually do not intermittent fast. Basically, intermittent fasting, Friday, usually not. Saturday, Sunday, very, very rare that I will do it. Sometimes I'll get back to it on Mondays, but more often than not, I just wait until Tuesday because I probably ate something late on sat uh, Sunday anyway. So, because you know, Sunday's a work day. Do a lot of work around the house, yard work. So speaking of yard work, we have done the unthinkable. We have started the transition away from gasoline, fossil fuel power yard equipment, you know? We gotta do our part to uh, save the environment. Climate change, it's really serious. We got a cobalt 40 volt electric lawnmower and we got a cobalt 40 volt, we got weed eater trimmer, thing like that. So yeah, you know, doing my part, thinking green, thinking ahead, thinking of the future. Granted, we still drive our Chevy Suburban with the small block 350. Yeah, I've been coming to this Dutch Brothers since the start of the whole pandemic thing. So sometimes they know exactly what I want. Sometimes they don't. Hi, good morning, old man. Howdy. How are you doing today? Good, good. Yourself? We're doing good, bro. Cool. Just a rebel, right? Yeah. Bro, here we go. Yeah, see that guy, he's been working here off and on since the start of the pandemic. So I want to say this Dutch Brothers actually completed like right before the start of the pandemic because i remember when the pandemic started we started out with the whole uh statewide lockdown thing and it was really easy to get dutch brothers because there was no one out on the streets there's no one out on the road i try to go to this one in the mornings but sometimes they're a little slow the uh way they got their line set up is not ideal and people don't follow it so it just makes it so much more complicated so i usually go to the uh, galt store in the morning or the elk Grove store Back to thinking about being green, thinking about the environment. Yeah, you know, climate change is a serious thing. We have to do our part, and I'm doing my part. Let's be real, the only reason why we did this, not because of global warming, not because of climate change, I'm getting older. No disrespect to MTD and Troy Bill, but your crap is heavy as hell, and sometimes your stuff doesn't start. We got a Troy Bill, a weed eater, two cycle gas, and then we got an MTD lawnmower. They've been reliable, been working for years. I don't exactly take care of them. I did the first oil change probably at the start of the pandemic. I think we are done. No visible leaks. Time to pump. And you're talking about a lawnmower that's fairly old, uh, more than 10 years, if not 15. They're reliable, they still work. It's just sometimes they're hard to start. You know, they're older. We haven't taken this good of care of them. And that's just the nature of these small engines. Sometimes they're hard to start. You gotta pull that pull string, whatever, multiple, multiple times sometimes. But these things are also a lot heavier. Mowing the lawn and using that weed eater especially is such a hassle. I was looking on brickzig.com and I found a uh, cobalt lawnmower. 109 if I would drive out to Tracy or Livermore, I can't remember. But here in Lodi, it was at 139. You know, I factored, I have to use the Suburban to pick it up anyway. 30, 40 plus miles away. Suburban gets about, on a good day, when I'm not hot riding it, 15, 16 miles to the gallon. On a normal day, when I'm gonna be enjoying that V8 engine, probably getting about 10 to 12 miles to the gallon. You do the math. We decided to try out this uh, battery part electric lawnmower. And you know, to be honest, the MTD cuts a lot better. Uh, the gasoline lawnmower has so much more power. It cuts a lot more consistently. It doesn't get bogged down nearly as much as this electric lawnmower, but it also doesn't cut so terribly that I want to go back to using the gas lawnmower 
This thing is almost effortless. I can deal with the fact that it doesn't cut nearly as well, but it cuts well enough where to go over it one more time isn't as much of a hassle. If it was on my MTD lawnmower, that thing is heavy. To go over the lawn again, I'm not a happy camper if I gotta do that. Whereas with the Cobalt, you know what? I can do that, no problem. It's gonna be really easy. You know, overall win-win moving the electric for the lawnmower. As for the weed eater, so we have the Troy Belt weed eater, pretty good, but that thing's heavy as hell. That thing can be temperamental in terms of starting and uh, staying running. And because of the size and the weight, the place where we store it is very inconvenient. Basically, I gotta move either the Buick or I gotta move several shelves that are on rollers to get to it. So I hardly ever use the weed eater. So yeah, and I was looking at the uh, weed eater on uh, Lowe's.com. I was like, you know what, this weed eater is about 149. Two and a half amp hour battery. That battery alone is like 70 to 100 bucks. I'm like, why don't we just buy an electric weed eater? It's a lot more compact versus the old Troy Belt. Not as ergonomic as the Troy Belt, but it's still a lot lighter and it's a lot easier to store. Honestly, when I'm using that, shoulder wise, it's not as comfortable as the Troy Belt, but weight wise and vibration wise especially, it is so far ahead of the Troy Belt. And best part, that Troy Belt is a two cycle motor. That crap is annoying as hell. You gotta mix your oil. When it runs out, you gotta mix oil again. Did I mention you gotta mix oil? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the new weed eater. I can deal with it. So good. So happy with this sugar-free peach rubble. Anyway, let's, let's say we have some breakfast. So I made myself for breakfast this morning. This is a cheesy chicken burrito. This is something my sweetheart showed me how to make. Not necessarily the burrito part, but the uh, filling. It's a rotisserie chicken that you shred and then you mix it with some sort of salsa, preferably low sugar, low carb salsa, and chicken stock, and then cream cheese. And then if you want, you could add like other kind of cheese. Typically we would eat this with uh, like cauliflower rice. Today I just turned it into a burrito. I have these uh, low carb tortillas at home. Put it in the tortilla, wrapped it up into a burrito. Boom, meal on the go. All right, let's see how this one goes. Best part about this is I can eat it hot or cold. Do you still have the rumble strips here? Uh-oh, coming right for us. Yep, I have to go for another one of those. As good as that was, I think it actually would have been better if it was warm. Because it'd be more, basically be more cheesy and gooey. Alright, and with that, you know, COVID-19 still a thing. Pray for our country, pray for our leadership, pray for the Republic. And with that, God bless the Republic. Catch you all on the flip.